Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I want to talk about something. It's it's a question I get through the email uh, all the time, and it's a very simple question that people ask me, is cardiology hard? Uh, the answer is no, it's not. It's never been. Cardiology is not a difficult thing. So this one's kind of geared towards our new paramedic students and, and nursing students, too. Um, but we often hear those horror stories. People tell us all sorts of things about this giant course load or medications or the rhythms or they all blend together. Or you get a migraine or whatever the case may be. Um, the truth is you need to consider the source of those stories and you need to ask yourself one very fundamental question when someone is telling you one and the question you need to ask yourself is did they pass often enough we blame our shortcomings on everything but ourselves nothing is easy in this life nothing is going to be overly strenuous either if you predict and prepare for it. I'm, I'm reminded of a, a thing we used back in the day where we used to say um, the, the P's of performance, which was proper prior planning prevents poor performance. And if you remember that and consider that every time you approach a task, I think you'll, you'll look at some of them a bit differently and find you're more prepared. How hard could this kind of thing be is the question you really need to ask yourself. So there are hundreds of thousands of paramedics worldwide they all had to pass cardiology. And the same goes for nurses, physicians, assistants, doctors, family nursing practitioners, uh, all sorts of healthcare fields. They all had to pass some semblance of the cardiology course. So something can only be so complicated before it's unteachable. And that's what you want to remember when you're going through these courses. When something is incredibly difficult, it has to be broken down into different sections and uh, multiple job titles. And so remember that Einstein said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And what he actually said was, if you can't explain it to your grandmother, you don't understand it well enough. But that's often enough paraphrased. The burden of proof is always on the instructor. And your instructor and your book are not the only information sources that you have. You need to ask around to the people that you work with, whether they're doctors, PAs, other paramedics, nurses. All this stuff becomes important. Your instructor and your book are great sources of information, but they're not all that there is out there in point of fact that's the reason this channel was created so other things to consider look for a course with a high success rate there's many standardized salaries in the teaching industry and that's true of both the community college system and the university system i have worked for both instructors are often drawn to good environments so look for a place where an instructor can actually go about the course material the way they want to and look for a school with a good environment a good learning environment look for an instructor with a high success rate as well. One thing I can tell you about the course that I run is we spend three months on cardiology. So all of our paramedic interns are just inundated with it for three solid months. And for those three months, we learn and we practice and we learn and we practice until it becomes second nature. So look for a course that does that. Also take a look at yourself. You need to ask yourself some hard questions. Are you the person for this job? Are you the person that's going to put in the time needed? It's not hard but it will require effort. It will require a constant stream of effort and things of that nature. And is your life in a place where you can take on a large course load? Are you going to be able to study cardiology and do clinicals and perform all the needed tasks to successfully complete a paramedic or a nursing course? These are things you're gonna to have to ask yourself. The final thing to remember is that difficulty is simply the difference in between effort predicted and effort expended. And what that means is if you approach everything realistically and consider that this may be something that requires my time and my effort uh, or this may be something that's going to require extensive time and effort then you're going to find that you are correct in some cases and you will be mentally prepared for it versus if you think that something's going to be overly easy and then you find out it is absolutely not that it's going to require time and study and things like that most people never recover from that shock and they lose interest they lose motivation and then inevitably they fail out of their course or they fail out of their program. So these are the things to consider. All said and done, is cardiology hard? No. Is cardiology going to take some time and some effort? Absolutely. But anything worth doing does. And if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.